Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival on Alpha 10.5 Project Eden. I'm an old guy gaming. All right, we are still on the um, one of Tostra's moons here, and I found both of the Promethium deposits right next to each other. So I figured, what the hell? Let's go ahead and just mine them up, and then uh, we would get promo meteorites. Whoops, on this planet as well as. Uh, magnesium. However, we have got a bunch of magnesium now. We are like <sighs> in fat city when it comes to mag. Because basically we've got the 160 that we pulled out of the uh, out of the, the original deposit and then we have almost two full stacks right there because I hit that other meteorite. So we're in really good shape for magnesium. Uh, so we won't need, we won't need that for quite some time. Uh, but let's go ahead and just connect to this, and we're just going to manually mine out these two deposits here really quick. And then what we'll do is we'll go... We'll go check out the... Uh, excuse me, the Crash DSE uh, back part. And um, see if it's got enough thrusters for us to get all of the... Um, what are we called? Flux coils, yeah. <laughs> I can't think. Uh, flux coils that we need. Okay, so I will meet you guys over at the uh, Crash DSE. And we'll go from there. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, we are at the ship. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Uh, I can't remember if the ship has a bunch of thrusters on it or not. I think it does, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100% positive, so we're going to check it out. Let's head on out there. Make sure there's no drones coming on by. I looted uh, one of the DSE parts. I don't remember which part it was on my vanilla series. It was under the water, too. And as I recall, we got quite a few thrusters off of it. Um, all right, so do we just need to set a core down? I made some more cores and I forgot to bring the damn things with me. Let's go back over this way. I mean, it doesn't really matter where we put it, I guess. Okay, let's take a look at the devices list. Whoops. Try that again. Um. Okay, so yeah, we've got eight thrusters. Uh, plus an ungrouped one here. Bunch of... T Ooh, look at that. T3 fuel tanks. Very nice. Cargo box. What's in here? Just some basic stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do... Those are all medium thrusters, too. So I think every single one of this will, one of those thrusters is going to give us some... Um, give us at least one flux coil. And if we're lucky, maybe we'll get more than one. So what we're going to do is... I kind of want to get someplace where I'm not exposed in case a drone comes by. So let's, we're going to put everything on salvage. I'm going to kind of just hang out down below here. Um, and what we'll do is we'll use our drone uh, to get around. Okay, so we've got a thruster down here. Oh, we got a bunch of thrusters down here. Okay, so what do we get? We didn't get any flux coils at all for that. Oh, we got four out of that one, though. Nice. And one out of that one. So I guess this is random. I didn't know that. I thought I thought we got the same stuff all the time. Interesting. Okay. Well, I think we got the flux coils we need for our... Um, uh, for our deconstructor. Because I already had a couple back at the base. Let's dig these out and get the rest of them. Uh, 
I'm almost wondering if we should uh, try and take a few of these home intact. Um, we are pretty heavy though because you know we got all that magnesium and some and uh, some promethium that we mined up. So. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's see here. Let's take a look. And uh, that's it. Okay, so we got all the thrusters. All right, well, we got a whole bunch of fuel tanks here. Uh, we might as well grab those, too, because that's going to give us some stuff. The rest of the stuff, not, not really that uh, big of a deal. So let's show these on the HUD. We'll remove the thruster. Okay, so that fuel tank is right down here. Uh, let's... Here. I'll dig these out here. I dropped myself down into the down into the below there. Okay. Now, how much is Okay, let's do this. How much does one of these weigh? Let's do a full block. Uh, we want to go into here. A hundred and fifty nine tons. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I don't think uh <laughs> I think we're going to salvage the rest of these. That is a that is super heavy. I mean that is like unbelievably heavy. We cannot we, we can't take it in this, not in this ship. Uh there's a sentry gun right there. Means there's probably one on this side too. Yep, sure enough. Goodness gracious, that thing's heavy. Okay, what do we got left? Two doors, and that's it. it says there's two things in the engine room, but it's not expanding out. So, okay. I think that's it. I think we're good to go. There's a capacitor. And a door. Two doors. Oh, I, was, I should have this on... Uh, uh, on salvage. So we're just going to get it really heavy here. Alright, well I think we accomplished what we came here to do. This hardened plate will all turn into... Um, Sathium ingots for us, which is what we need. We had some more up here, too. Okay, that's good enough. We got all the we got all the good stuff off of here, so. Alright guys, well, I think we're done on this planet. So what I'm gonna do is head on home. And when we get back, we'll be able to make our deconstructor, and then we'll be able to start cranking out some um Satham ingots, which we need to make stuff. <laughs> to make stuff. Um, we also got a couple of force fields too, so we'll be able to turn those into um a restroom and Zascosium. Uh, one, we have not found any Zascosium yet here in Project Eden. It's because the... Yeah, we can move. It's because the, um, the planets that have Z are in the inner rings, closer to the sun. And I have not yet, as of right this at this point in time, uh, found 
a pathway to the inner rings. Uh, plus the fact that we need to get um, quite a bit of pentaxid built up for those longer trips anyway. Now, I do have some pentaxid, I just need to process it. I keep forgetting to do so. So let's go ahead and head home. Back to Yesit, lock target. And I will see you guys back there, and we will continue at that point and go from there. All right, so see you in a bit. Okay, guys, we are back. And look at this. We can make ourselves a deconstructor. Let's do it. Boom. Uh, so we're going to make that. I also want to make another food processor uh, that we're going to dedicate to making medical uh, stuff for us. Because we have the medical fridge here, but I don't have a food processor assigned to it. Uh, this one is pretty much dedicated to rations. This one is making other types of food at the moment. I did another garden harvest and just organized my input fridge just for the hell of it. Because I like stuff to be nice and tidy. And uh, just it's so awesome, though, to see this massive quantity of food that we have here. It's really cool. So I've got five rations in here and a full stack in my inventory. So we are just doing really good on food itself. Uh, all right, so we got to figure out where we're going to put this deconstructor. I suppose we could put it right here. Um, that's really probably the only place that we can put it. Um, without, you know, moving other stuff around. At some point, we're going to need to do another building episode, too, and I need to finish decorating our house here. Uh, so that's coming up at some point. All right, let's see. Is this thing done yet? It is. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's too big for us to carry. Uh, I made some homing rockets for us. Uh, we got the rocket launcher, the Tech 2 rocket launcher now. Uh, made a few more 15 or millimeter, bloop, millimeter bullets going. Um, we'll put those in there. Actually, that's quite a bit. I think that's probably all we really need. Are we still making them here? Yeah, let's, let's stop that. And you're done making those. Okay, cool. So, let's see. I guess what we have to do is we have to connect to this. And we'll put these guys down on our bar here. This guy's going to be our dedicated medical station. So, let's um, connect it to the medical fridge. Excuse me. Okay, now, what do we need for this? We need alien thorn. Alien thorn. Thorn. I don't think I've run across that on this planet. Um, can we make alien thorn? We need nitrocellulose and elemental pentaxid. Really? That's weird. Okay, um... Mm -mm -mm. Elemental pentaxid. I need to actually make pentaxid pentaxid. What's the, this is an output count of five. Okay, let's make, let's say 20 of those, and then I'm going to turn the rest of the pentaxid we have into actual pentaxid uh, refined. Okay, it said we also needed nitrocellulose too, so I guess we need to cook some of that up, don't we? So let's do, what's the output count of 20? So that'll give us 200. Let's make that. Okay, while, whilst we're waiting for all that... Oh, this thing is huge. forgot how big this damn thing is. Hmm. Um, where are we going to put it then? I mean, I guess I could still put it there, but... It's kind of seems a little bit out of place because it's sticking out from everything else. Don't really want to put it outside... And I don't really want to put it upstairs. I guess that's where it's going to go. <laughs> One thing we could do, I suppose, if we wanted to, is we could move all of this stuff out and stick this guy in the corner. Man, let's just leave it the way it is for now. I might, I might redo some of that later, but we'll see. Okay, so now after we have made that... Do we also still have enough stuff to make a furnace? We do. We could make a furnace. Uh, we could also actually upgrade 
this to an advanced constructor too. That might be a better thing to do. Um, so we, we know we're going to need 10 flux coils for that. So let's go to player. All right, what else do we need to, to, to upgrade this? Change and upgrade. Uh, we need f 10 cobalt alloy, five energy matrix, and two computers. Uh, these things. There, now we should be able to upgrade this thing. Let's do it. Boom! <laughs> Look at that. Two advanced constructors. We are moving up in the world, people. We are moving up in the world. It's awesome. Okay, so let's grab this out of here and that out of there, and we'll put this in the medical fridge. Now we'll make ourselves some alien thorn. Just however many that'll make, and then we should be able to make some medical... Uh, healing pack thingamadoodles for us. Okay, we're doing good. We are doing good. So, let's see here. Now, this guy, now that we have this guy, let's see, we, we need to make a dedicated... We need to make a dedicated storage for that thing. So, let's see, how do we want to do that? Do we have an extra storage bin sitting in our surplus or here yes we do okay so let's take this and maybe what we'll do um 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 what if we went with this guy i know this doesn't have as much volume uh yeah you know what i don't like that that it doesn't have as much volume redo Let's let's make sure we do the full volume one. I was just trying to do something that's not going to take up as much space, but let's go with this. And I guess we'll put it right there. And then uh, we're going to name this. A deconstructor. Okay, and then we set this to Deconstructor. And now we have the means to start making stuff. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we currently have that we can throw in the Deconstructor. Uh, so we want to go to Base and Deconstructor. Yeah, right there. And then we want to go to uh, a, a, a General. Okay, so what do we want to throw in here? This is a fuel tank for a small vessel. That's a pentaxi tank for a small vessel. That's a warp drive for a small vessel. Can we make all of that stuff if we needed to for some reason? Let's just look. We don't have the, the skill points for either one of those things. At the moment, that doesn't mean we can't get them, because I mean we're at we're level sixty, we have one hundred and forty-seven points. So yeah, I mean that's that's here, there taken care of. All right. So if we need to make those, we can. Let's go ahead and melt them down. Okay. So we'll put those in there. Is this thing turned on? It is now. Okay. So. What's this? This is an ammo container controller for a capital vessel. Yeah, that's easy to make. Let's throw the chair in there. I don't think that'll melt down. It might. We'll see. Uh, we'll throw the solar panels in there. Uh, RCS is for hover vessel. Yeah, let's melt those down. Laser rifle cell. Yeah, I think we'll keep all of that. All these minigun rounds, let's break those down to whatever they break down to. And the, the pistol. Uh, these are the things that are going to give us the Z and E. So let's break those down. A large constructor, yeah, we might as well break that down. A portable heater cooler. A bunch of lights. What else? Spotlights, armor locker. Yeah, we don't need any of that. Chainsaw, we're going to keep this. Medical device, I don't think we need that. 
I don't know if the tent will break down, but we'll throw it in there. This is the big warp drive, capital vessel warp drive that we found, that we brought back from the ocean planet. Let's break that sucker down. A Tech 2 assault rifle. I think I'm going to keep that as a backup. What's this? A Tech 2 projectile pistol. Mm, yeah, let's keep that as backup. We'll keep the laser rifle. The auto mine, of course, we might end up actually using those. Laser turrets for capital vessel. Yeah, let's break those down. Let's break down the multi-tools, the door, the tech equipment. Uh, man, do we want to keep the T3 fuel tank? That thing is humongous. Nah, you know what? Let's break it down, too. Okay, cool. So, we should be getting um, some good materials from all of this stuff. Is this thing working? Yeah, it's going. It's going to town, man. It's going to town. Okay, so we should be getting some good resources uh, coming back from this. So let's let that thing do its thing. Is there anything in the surplus that we would want to stick in there? Yeah, there's a few surplus items too. Let's let's get those in there too. So we'll go to surplus, do 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 or overflow rather. Uh, we'll put that in there. Container extension, windows, concrete block. No, 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 no. We don't want the concrete blocks. We'll put the hardened steel in there though. And then I guess the rest of this stuff we just want to hang on to. Man, we got a bunch of bunch of portable oxygen. A crap ton. Cool. How are we doing on power? I haven't even looked at that lately. We've got tons of power because we've got so much solar power in this base. Um, yeah, I mean, our, our solar power is pretty much almost carrying us. I haven't had to refuel the base for a long, long time. Excellent. Okay, so we got two upgraded advanced constructors. We've finally got our deconstructor, which we've been waiting for for a long time. And what that means now is that I could go start salvaging, you know, hardened steel blocks and put that all that stuff into here and we could start getting our sathium that we need for, you know, making the stuff that we need to make. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right. So, let's look at let's look at the factory for a second. I want to I want to bring the chisel into the game cuz this is a this is a a mid a mid game I will call a capital vessel uh, that I it's it's based off of one of the prefabs but I completely overhauled it and upgraded it in the alpha early alpha 10 series and um, I would really like to get this ship and then we can really start doing some serious exploration so we want to get that but we also want to get the J jet uh, two version 7 in as well and this requires 172 Z and E. Those are our two stopping points now. Um, not even really the restroom, because the restroom we can get to. It's the Zascosium that we really need to find. Maybe that's what we really should start doing next, is going after Z. Because we're going to need 240 Z for this ship. And we're going to need, uh, how much was it again for the small vessel here? Uh, 172 for that. So maybe we should just make up a whole shitload of pentaxid fuel and start jumping around and and get start looking for some inner planets where we can go get um uh you know st start looking for some zascosium. That's probably the next thing we need to do because that's going to be our stopping point for sure. Absolutely going to be our stopping point. Okay, let's get some chow here. What do we want? Let's have a pizza. Oh man, that was good. Delicious. Let's have some cheese too. Extra cheese on our pizza. That's what we're going to eat. Well, guys, um, yeah. We are really in good shape here. I'm pleased with the progress that, that we're making here. So, let me think. What do I want to do now? I think what I should do is go get a really big old juicy supply of pentaxid. So that we can start doing some major jumping, um, look and and what the you know what the major goal of finding some zascosium that we can bring back. That's probably I think what the next thing is that we need to do. So that being the case, where are we going to get pentaxid? Now there's quite a bit of pentaxid that I can just pick on the shore, but that would take quite some time. We're going to really be further ahead to go to a moon. And mine out all the pentaxin on that moon so that we can get meteorites. Now, I believe the moon that 
uh, in this system is giving us Promethium and... Uh, yeah, so this moon here is giving us Promethium and Copper Meteorites. And we only have one moon in this system. Tazra's got two moons. Akram's got two moons. Akram is very nearby, too. So maybe what we do is we go to Akram and hit one of its two moons and get all of its pentaxid mined out so that we can have it start producing pentaxid meteorites for us. That's where we're going to really get into the quantity of the pentaxid that we need so that we can start jumping around. We've got to find some kind of a pathway in closer to the sun. Because as, you can, as you can see, the only thing I can do right now is go to the outer... Uh, planets. That's all we've uncovered. So we need to find some, we need to start hitting these planets that we haven't been to yet and try and find a, an inner pathway to get to the sun because that's where all this Ascosium happens to be here in Project Eden. Okay, how are we doing on um, XP? So we're about a third of the way through level 16. Uh, we're still working towards getting back to friendly with the Polaris. So we're getting close. We're getting close. Um, you know, probably one at the most, two more wildlife cams, uh, will get there, get us there. Uh, and then, you know, we'll continue popping, uh, drones and killing Xerax, Xerax when we come across them and that sort of thing too. So I guess what I, here's what I think I'm going to do guys. I think I'm going to head to the moon. I think I'm going to head to the moon of, um, this neighboring planet here. The one that's really close. Akram. And I'm gonna get all the pentaxid mined out on its moons or one of its moons, so that we can so I can get a good supply of that. And I think I'm just gonna do all that off camera because all it's all it's gonna be is just me going there, mining out the pentaxid, and then waiting for meteorites to fall, and then mining those meteorites. So I don't think I'll I don't think I'll record any of that because it's just I mean you know it's not really all that exciting. <laughs> um, so so the plan will be for me to do that off camera. And then when I get that done and I have a really good supply of Pentaxa, then we're going to go on a journey. Uh, that journey is going to be finding a way for us to get closer uh, to the inner rings of the sun so that we can start getting into the Zascosium. So I think that's what the plan's going to be. So how much time do we have? we got a lot of time left on this episode still, though, don't we? Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. We're almost out. Never mind. I'm reading the time incorrectly. So, yeah, this would... And this is probably a good stopping point then, guys. Um, this episode might be a little bit shorter than some of the other ones, but I think this is a good stopping point because basically that's what I got to do. So, um, when I come back in the next episode, I expect to have a big old supply of pentaxid for jump fuel. And then we are going to start exploring and looking for a pathway into the inner rings that is the plan hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did hit that like button and subscribe to the channel share out the video and leave a comment those things do help the channel i do appreciate it and we'll see you all in the next episode goodbye